Hi, my name is Kurt Clore and I'm with Automatic Irrigation. And I'm here today to talk about the Hunter Solar Sync, how to install and program it. The Solar Sync is an easy way to make any Hunter controller into a smart controller. So it uses its sensors where it can measure solar radiation and temperature and also historical data in order to adjust your irrigation. And it does so by changing the percentage of watering which it puts down. This will normally save water, uh, generally they say anywhere from 30 to 70 percent, and of course money if you're paying for that water, and it also keeps your landscape healthier. The good thing about this is it also acts as a rain and freeze sensor, so if it starts to rain it will shut down your, your system, or if you get temperatures too low for irrigation it will also automatically shut down your system. So to install this unit, the first thing you probably want to do before you mount this is adjust the vent. You can do this by turning little cap here and what that does is adjust the rate at which the rain sensor will dry out so in other words the more open the vent is the quicker the sensor will dry out and the quicker your system will be allowed to run next thing to talk about is mounting where we're going to mount the sensor it's very important you want to make sure you keep it clear of any overhangs of the roof or of any trees because you want to make sure that it can see sunlight and rain you uh, also want to make sure it's not in the path of any of your sprinklers because the last thing you want is for your sprinklers to turn your system off because it hits the rain sensor. You should probably hang it high enough to avoid vandalism. You don't want somebody knocking it off and breaking it. And you also want to make sure it's in, within range of the controller. So if you have a wireless unit, you should have about 800 feet that you uh, can hang this away from this, the controller. With a wired unit like this, you get about 40 feet of wire. So you have to take that into account. A good place to hang it is generally a gutter or a high fence post where it's out of the way but it can still make the readings that it needs to make. So to wire the sensor all you do is turn the power off then you're going to open it up find the sensor ports which in this unit are over here. You want to make sure you remove any jumper that's in there. Some controllers have a jumper wire others have a jumper plate. You want to make sure you remove that. Uh, if you have a, a wireless uh, unit you will attach the receiver to the two sensor ports and it doesn't matter which order, there's a green and a black wire, it does not matter which goes where. If you have a wired unit like this, then the unit will connect directly to the sensor ports. Uh, keep in mind that on an X-Core and a Pro-C, these ports are marked SEN for sensor. On an I-Core such as this, it has three sensor ports. You need to make sure and use the solar sink on S1 for the first sensor port. And for an ACC unit, the sensor port is marked ET but they all attach the same. They're just labeled a little different. So, once you get it plugged in, then it's time to program the solar sink. So, you turn your clock to solar sink settings, and it will have two settings for you to set. One is your climate region. These are, you can look these up in, in your manual for the solar sink to determine where you are at. There's also a little fine tuning um, adjustment for the weather uh, to, have different numbers within the, each region. Um, the easiest thing to, to remember for Indiana, which is where we are located, generally you're going to be region 2 and water adjustment 7. But you can always move that water adjustment up or down based on uh, if you don't think you're getting enough or getting too much water in your system. So that at that point your setup is complete. Um, one other thing to mention is older model Hunter controllers aren't necessarily set up to receive the solar sink like this one is. So you may have to install a module. Uh, the module plugs in same as the sensor. It's pretty easy to do. And then you will do your weather adjustment programming right here on this instead of within the controller. So that's the basics of, of hooking up a Hunter Solar Sync. Um, we're really excited about getting Hunter product here and we're excited to help you if you need to install this. So please give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you.